Iranian President Hassan Rouhani's trip to New York is continuing to make headlines locally, this time following leaked comments from a private meeting between Iran's foreign minister and parliamentarians. This all started after the meeting on Sunday behind closed doors. Several Iranian lawmakers in the meeting claim Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif said the telephone conversation between the Iranian President Hassan Rouhani and U.S. President Barack Obama was a mistake and that his talk with U.S. Foreign Secretary John Kerry was prolonged. The media reports say this was in reference to a recent speech by the leader of the Islamic Revolution, Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei. Iran's leader had expressed support for the diplomatic approach adopted by President Rouhani's administration, but noted, some of the things that happened during the New York trip were not appropriate. Iranian lawmaker Hossein Nagavi Hosseini was the first to make the comments about the private meeting, what led to making headlines. However, Hosseini himself has recently said all that was published by the newspapers wasn't said in the meeting. Some lawmakers we talked to in Iran's parliament expressed dismay over the actions in New York. If one part of talks claims he's completely just and says the other side has to do as I say, this is no longer called talks. As long as this state exists between Iran and the U.S., no talks will bear any results. Yet other parliamentarians we talk to say Iran's goal is to prove the peaceful nature of its nuclear energy program, and talks are only a means, and the end justifies the means regardless. While the nuclear energy program is an excuse by the West still to reduce tensions, we should use talks as a tool. The talks are never a goal for us, rather they are only a means to reach the rights of our people. So how and where these talks are, on the phone or over the table, is the choice of our diplomacy team. Amongst the media reports, one headline from the Daily Kehan from the principalist camp stood out. It headlined the reformist foreign minister as saying the Obama-Rouhani phone call and his meeting with John Kerry was inappropriate. Iran's foreign ministry spokeswoman Marzia Afram in a statement rejected the media reports. She said the foreign minister's comments have not been published accurately and the titles used by some newspapers are not true and are rejected. In a Facebook page attributed to the foreign minister, Zarif said after seeing the headline by a newspaper, he cancelled most of his meetings and checked into a hospital, suffering from back pain and muscle spasms in his leg. Zarif wrote the people that took his words out of context should know he will only make public statements from now on. What Zarif really said in the meeting and whether he was misquoted or the words were taken out of context is still not clear. Pedro Khaidadi, Press TV, Tehran.